Hi guys, it's Holly. I'm hanging out in my toddler's bedroom today about to do a closet reorganization. So it's about that time and I like to do it about every six months or so because toddlers and babies, they grow so fast and out of their clothes. So she's 20 months now, I'm a few months behind. It's time to go ahead and transition out her old clothes and transition her fall and winter clothes. Where we live, it's finally getting cool. And uh, into the 50s in the morning and the 70s in the afternoon. So still really great weather, but she's probably going to want to wear some long sleeves instead of her sleeveless dresses and things that she's been wearing over the springtime. So I'm going to show you a before and after of the reorganization of the closet because I've got so much to clean out because it's kind of gotten out of hand. <laughs> I've been throwing things in there and so it's uh, gotten a little messy and I need to just kind of bring it back on point. And so you'll see the before and after that and also the clothing haul that I've done for her fall winter wardrobe, a couple of different places I went shopping, and a couple of things she also received from grandparents. So keep watching. I hope you enjoy. Okay, so here we are in my toddler's closet. And as I mentioned uh, before, that I usually go through and clean the closet out about every six months just because of all of the changes in sizes of clothes because they're growing so much. So um, here basically is what I have to work with. It used to be so neat and organized, as you can see. Um, diaper boxes, storage bins, um, some fall sweaters and jackets and shoes and her tutu and all of her clothes that I need to go through and sort out that she's outgrown. And there's some new ones in there that I'm actually going to show you some toddler fall clothes from the new things that I've gotten her. And then the bins as well. I'm going to be going through the bins and organizing those. And she's got shoes down here. But like some of the bins are just like stuffed animals. And um, some of those like sheets and things that need to be refolded. And just toys. So I want to move those to the bottom. But um, this is where we're working with. And uh, I will show you the final organization once it's all done. I'm going to start with a few pieces I picked up at Old Navy and this is one of them and I just really like Old Navy. Um, they have a great selection of toddler clothes and I've also gotten baby clothes there when my toddler was younger and so here's the first piece and it has these beautiful uh, fun different color fall colored feathers on the bottom of it so just enough splash of color for a cream colored top and the second piece here is actually like a gray it may come across as a little bit of blue but it's kind of like a uh, and it's soft it's actually it's not a denim it's a soft fabric so it's a long sleeve gray top with this wonderful detail here which I thought made it so cute and the pants that go along with it so making it a little bit more feminine with a touch of soft pink and another item that i picked up at old navy was this one which is just a basic sweater and i like blues and um, so she does have blue just a nice knit sweater there's no buttons or anything on it and uh, i wasn't sure if it was boy or girl but i think it could be unisex i got it out of the, the girl section i thought it was cute um, that she could wear it with some jeans and a blue top or another splash of color that goes with blue. Um, since we're finally getting into the cool weather, that's going to be a, a nice piece added to her fall wardrobe. Um, a few of the next items came from a department store called Belk. And I kind of put it where you could see the different designers of it. Um, and these pieces were actually sent to her from her grandparents. And this is uh, just a cute outfit to wear around Thanksgiving. You have your orange and your browns and your greens and your bows, so all your festive fall colors. And we have a lot of purple. I like purple for her. I did um, my toddler's bedroom in purple, and so she also has purple shoes. And I'm just more of a purple person than a pink person. So I lean toward getting more purple lavender type of clothes. 
And um, so this is another piece from her grandparents that was sent. It has a really cute flower on there with the bow. And then um, kind of a chevron pattern. And then we have this piece, which is blue and pink. And it has the leggings that go with it. And uh, this is also from the belt department store. Uh, but just a classic piece that she can wear out um, to maybe uh, anything we're invited to <laughs> during the holidays. Um, that kind of dresses her up a little bit, even though it's not, you know, your traditional red and green type of colors that you'd see during holidays or browns. Um, you just can't beat navy blue with splash of pink for a girl. So um, that's actually from a brand called Little Me. You could see that, but I just thought that was very classic. Another fun item is this one. It's uh, by a brand called Real Love. And it's the leopard pink with the black and the sparkles. And I know that's going to be great and fun for Valentine's Day. And the pants that came with it, the leggings there, those are actually uh, long leggings. So they're not short. They actually go all the way down uh, to the ankle. This next piece is um, a piece that I picked up from Dillard's and you see like the camo, gray, black, and pink in there. So definitely got the girl touch to that and um, a nice gray cable knit sweater. She should be able to wear, you know, with a couple of different things, not just this outfit. And then uh, some jeggings. So you can see the jeggings are pretty basic and they have the, the gray touch fold on the bottom. This brand is actually called Starting Out. Um, you can kind of see there, maybe, it's called Starting Out, but anyway, that piece was picked up at Dillard's. Um, this next piece is from Macy's, and they have a line of clothes called First Impressions. And I had received a gift item for uh, my daughter from Macy's, from this brand. And it just, it washes so well. And it's a play clothing line. So it's called First Impressions Play. And um, the colors just stay bright. And they don't fade and they don't bleed. And so I love it. So when I was there and I saw this, I thought this would be fun to get her some bright colors with, um, you know, but it's not too bright. It's toned down just enough for it to be uh, something she could wear through fall and winter and maybe even transition into spring a little bit. You can't go wrong with jeans. So I had to make sure she had another pair of skinny jeans. And this is um, actually from Oshkosh brand. And we did the boot cut because she has a darker denim that is already skinny. I wanted her to have a little bit of variety in her wardrobe. Okay, um, you know, the fancy holiday dinners that you get invited to, so we had to get a dress for that. And this actually was a gift um, sent to her, which is also from Dillard's. And um, it's just adorable. It's so precious. It's, it's a velvet green. So this is actually a velvet green, which it kind of matches this little leaf here. Um, and then you have the pink rosettes and the burgundy rosettes with the cream colored satin. Um, so that's going to be really pretty and fun to, to uh, have her dress up for those special occasions during the holiday season. So we're going to go back to some more casual items. This is Oshkosh as well. So you see it has this cute little color. It's kind of a coral actually. Um, it's not really a pink, it's kind of a coral color. And then you have this really pretty detail here along the neckline, but as you can see, it's a onesie. And so um, that is gonna be fun and cute. And she'll be able to wear that also through the different seasons and probably transition into spring as well. This next one um, is fall color, but it's brighter. Um, I like clothes that can transition and kind of take her a little ways. Um, She's going on 24 months, so in a couple months she'll be two, but she's still in 18 month clothes. And she's kind of petite. And this is from Oshkosh. And uh, I like turquoise, once again, another shade of blue. And then the multicolored top um, matches really well with it. You can kind of see that there's actually turquoise in that top. 
and uh, different flowers and everything. So another fun item from Fall to Spring, Fall to Winter to Spring. This next item that I picked up is a sweater dress from Old Navy. And I just thought it was really cute and I'm just gonna get closer so you can kind of see the colors in it because it has a lot of colors in it. Um, purples and pinks and blues and creams and um, it just it's a nice warm winter dress for her to wear and I think that's gonna look great with a pair of boots which I have yet to find but I am looking for a pair of boots because she had a pair last year of course she's outgrown them and uh, we're gonna find another pair of boots to wear with some of these outfits and last but not least um, for the clothing items is sleepwear because you have to have sleepwear for winter also when you're so little a lot of little kids don't sleep with uh, covers and sheets and blankets and so we need to get some warm pieces for her and this is actually Oshkosh here um, of some pink thrown in there but uh, pink is always great for a girl and her room is in butterflies so this was really great because you get the butterfly pattern on here and it actually flips over it's two piece, this is actually two tops. So you get a short sleeve top and a long sleeve top. And the short sleeve matches the pant. And then the long sleeve with the single butterfly also matches the pant, but just gives it a different look and allows her to have left long sleeves. So that's my daughter waking up from her nap. Um, elephants was this next one. And I actually let her pick this out. This is a Carter's uh, piece. Um, and we were looking at leopard print and different ones. And I just kind of got the one that she was drawn to. And she liked the gray elephants and the pink uh, ears. So we got that one for her. And then I did get some shoes. So these are the shoes that came. Um, a couple I picked up and a couple that were sent to her. Um, but we wanted to get some neutral shoes that will kind of match everything. And so here's a brown pair of Sperry's and um, a black pair of Oshkosh, which is a little larger, but she'll be able to grow into those. And then we have this beautiful pair of purple stride rights uh, tennis shoes, which are really comfortable for her to run around and play in all the time. And of course, she has a lot of purple, so it's going to match her clothes wonderfully. And then another pair of brown with some fall colors in there, which she'll grow into as well. So these are just tad little, um, larger size, but they're very cute, very adorable. And uh, this is actually a brand called Rachel's Shoes. Um, and so those are her shoes so far. And like I mentioned, I am looking for some boots and probably a dress shoe um, to go with some of her dressier um, outfits and that she has so that is my toddler wardrobe for fall and winter 2015-2016 here's the big reveal all of my daughter's winter and fall clothes but we have lots of diapers and plenty of storage space so I took out a lot she couldn't fit just kind of reorganized shoe boxes by size, put her current shoes she could wear up top, decided to fold her jeans and some of her leggings and pants instead of hanging them all. We got winter blankets ready to go. And uh, things that I'm gonna be using over here for baby number two when she arrives in a couple of months, uh, was car seat covers and uh, grocery cart covers and ring slings and things like that. And then here's the storage bins that I will start going back through in a couple of months. So we'll probably come back through and reorganize this again in about four to six months um, to incorporate baby number two in there and either move my first daughter's uh, clothes out to another room. We haven't decided yet if they're sharing. So uh, we, they may share, but they may have their own rooms and own closets. So. Uh, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.